Yeah, I, I thought uh, when we came out real strong and, and you know we got the first goal, but I, I thought we were, we were playing a real solid game. I thought we, we really looked really, really good time in the space. And, and, and then we were able to finish off the second goal. Yeah, that was that was a good goal. Yeah, that was a good goal. Uh, yeah, I thought we were really good. Yeah, that was a good goal. 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 Yeah, and then uh, second period, they had a couple couple shifts where we were able to uh, survive a little bit. And was, their coverage broke down a couple times. Just uh, uh, a couple of individuals just missed assignments, and then they got some chances. And then uh, obviously, uh, Kleiner's bomb from the red line was uh, that sort of did a little bit of a change. So those are hard. I mean, uh, you see Nick Lidstrom has done that to us a couple of times where we they bounce it in and. Uh, you know, at that point, that really changed my man you know, against a tired hockey team. Where they, they got in late just because of the snowstorms and the weather and all that. And uh, and then we really responded. You know, after that, we really sort of took the momentum and carried it right through. Uh, some good wall play um, by our guys through the neutral zone and won, won those battles along the boards. And it was like uh, you know the, the Wilson goal where we're horny. With it, you know, Real quick to the boards, one little battle, and then got it to Leg and Leg get over to Willie, and um, you know those type of things really led to to us uh, pulling away. And you know, obviously they score right off the bat in the, in the third period, and I thought we responded right away. And as we responded, uh, Kleiner shot there from the point, and uh, you know, the Horny deflected it or whatever. Uh, that sort of put the end to I, I thought the surge. We had all the lines going pretty good. And it was a it was a great crowd. I mean, I want to thank all the Chicago fans for coming away. Uh, but that was a good. It's a good weekend. Nashville's a great town. I hope you enjoy your time uh, <laughs> here. Did, did you get the sense that with all their fans and as boisterous as they was, as they were, had a playoff so, feel. Yeah, it did. It, did, it, did. Did it absolutely guys, did. Did you guys come out like with more intensity? I don't know if we came out with more intensity, but the, the building was ramped up from the get go, which doesn't hurt the home team. I know that. Um, you know, and Chicago has that advantage every game. So, um, you know, it was it was good. It was good. That just means that there's there's good rivalry, and and Nashville's a great destination to come to. So, we'll we'll take the Chicago people's money. I know that from the uh, Chamber of Commerce thing. <laughs> uh, you lose Bullion early, then have Lane on the bench. Was it kind of hectic behind the bench? That wasn't, it wasn't too hectic. I mean, it's not our first rodeo where we were prepared. Uh, uh, Lane, and with the uh, help of Brent Peterson uh, a little bit uh, on, on the headset. And, uh, we just we got, we got things done in terms of the penalty kill, and we did a good job to discipline wise we had one. Um, that wasn't too bad. I mean, it was uh, it wasn't too bad. Of a game. You have an update on Uh Yeah, I don't think it's anything serious. Uh, um, just a upper body injury, and uh, we'll see. We'll have a better idea tomorrow or Monday. Colin Wilson looked like he was being a little more authoritative driving the puck to the net in this game. Yeah, you know, Willie's, you know, he, he had a great move on the, the first uh, rush that we had there. Um, you know, just really, really, he's a really talented guy, and he can do things off the rush and down low. He's got great, his great escape ability. He's got great vision. And, you know, just managing his game in the other zones is always, you know, when he's managing it correctly, he, he not only gets chances, but he generates speed and puck possession time, and that's when he's really effective. When he when he messes around a little bit in the neutral zone and tries to get too cute sometimes, sometimes that. He ends up with not with the puck as much as he needs to. What else you want from him tonight? What did you get from him? Yeah, I liked uh, I liked Brandon's game. Uh, as I said, you know, it was a tough decision. I take uh, Matt Howes check out, and, and he's been playing really good. And I, I talked to Maddie today, and I said, hey, I gotta want to integrate a player in here, and I, I don't want to mess all the lines up. To uh, so I, I took him out, and, uh, and I, I thought he did a really good job. He was, he was strong on the boards. He's got good. A good pace to his game. Uh, you know, he hasn't played a lot, so the conditioning thing will have to catch up. The game skills will catch up. But um, you know, he's a bigger body. Uh, I thought he was he won, won chances on the wall. Uh, his play with the puck seemed to be pretty good. So 
you know, as we go along here, we'll get to, to learn what Grant and Yip's all about, and, and he'll learn, we'll learn what we're all about, and uh, we'll, we'll try to define a little more of a role for him. Kirk Smith had a goal tonight. Um, do you think he's starting to do some things to get things going again, and how tough is it as a rookie coming out of college? Well, I think out of college, I mean, he's already played a whole college season, and, um, you know, his, his play had fallen off, his energy, you know, and part of that is the energy and that dynamic speed that he has. So I, I put him back at center, and I've ramped his middle minutes backwards so he's not playing as much. And when he gets out there, he play a little more energy. And it, it's, I think it's given him a little bit more freedom uh, to not have to produce, and when you, have, you know, and therefore, without that pressure of having to produce and all that, he's actually producing more. And, and getting more chances, and you know, he's not lining up against a, a, always the top pair. Uh, he's getting some of the, you know, the, the second and third pairings, and, and uh, you know, he's learning the game on the fly. And I want, you know, if, um, I think Jared Smith is doing a good job on, on the wing with him, helping him with face-offs and learning the center role. And, and, and Jared's a really good pro in terms of being a communicator, so I think he's really good for for Smitty. And, I expect uh, Smitty and you know, his line mates, be it Jared, Hallie, Yipper, whoever is on that line, Gratz, uh, always you know, for him to be producing. And we know that uh, at uh, Craig, you know, not only play center, but he can move to the wall. And so it was good. I was glad he got a goal tonight. It looked, right. like, it looked like Smith was playing a little bit more of a physical game on the defense end, too, tonight. Uh, Jared? No, Smith, Craig. Craig Smith. Yeah, no, he was getting on the four check. That's. Uh, you know, any any time you're 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 physical and fast on the forecheck, you're going to create some turnovers and you get some quick support and you get some offense out of it. So yeah, that's good. He's getting on that, using his assets. His asset is his speed and his and his quickness. So what good. what have you seen from that Costitz and Fisher you ran three of the last couple of weeks? Well, they they've played. I can you know they they're they're strong offensively. They're strong defensively. Sergey and, and Marty have a. A good chemistry. You saw that on Sergey's goal. I thought Sergey played you know, really strong today. I thought he was a uh, he was a force out there, and uh, uh, they just have chemistry. Whatever whatever it is, you're in the European influence. I know uh, Marty's been you know Marty doesn't get enough credit for for being part of the leadership group and how good a player he is around the league. Uh, but I think he's pushed Sergey to become a better player. And, and allow Sergey to, to use his assets. And, you know, you got uh, Sergey was you know, fish and variety is a, two pretty good examples of good pros. So, um, you know, that line's been real solid for us. Harry, five goals and five goal scores. Is that one of the strengths you guys have? I think, yeah. I mean, uh, it, we always get the uh, reputation that we can't score goals. Um, and there's about 10 teams in the Western Conference that have scored less than us. Mm -hmm. And then in the league, there's a lot more. So, um, I, you know, we always we have more of a, more of a balanced scoring. We don't have, we don't have any 30, 35, 40 goal scorers. We just have to do it as a group of 20. And, and um, you know, we got great goaltending and we got some dynamic defensemen, um, uh, older ones at 26, and, and Ryan Suter, who's his birthday boy at 27 today. Um, you know, we're getting good play. You know, Kevin Klein's been really outstanding, and uh, you know, you saw Roman Yossi and Ellis how they they performed it for us. So, yeah, get team defense and some some balanced scoring and, and good goaltending seems to be the better way right now. And, and our power play's been good this year. Penalty kills been good. We're we're starting to chug it along. And the Central Division is a is an absolute bear, uh, but it's been good for us being a young team. Uh, Forces us to play well every night. Uh, How much scoreboard watching is there in the dressing room at many? Do you guys pay attention to that? Or? Um, I'm going to say I'm watching it less this year because we're not looking back. In, in the past, we were always looking up and you know, and and, uh, and, and and looking more on the back end too. Like you know, did they win? You know, um, I, we had a little different focus. You know, we, we said that you know, we don't we don't want to make the playoffs. We want to win the division. Well, it happens to be the toughest division in all hockey, so we're we're, we're going at it at a at a high pace, and they're you know that the, our division is forcing us to play really really well, and 
as we play well and try to catch the, you know, our division and stay with our division, we're pulling away from some teams, and uh, that's that's good. I mean, uh, we, we just have a one-game focus all the time, which is a, a, a real good mentality. Our young guys and, and our old guys are, are focused on you know the important things of winning hockey games and doing the right things. And, you know, we're going to put, put forward our best effort till till the uh, All Star break, and then we're going to get away for a couple of days, and then you know down the down the back stretch and see where we end up. Thanks.